New information in a follow-up to a Channel 5 News investigation we brought you last week. Three Valley men await trial in what the FBI is calling a $150 million Medicare fraud scheme involving fraudulent home health care businesses. The Texas Workforce Commission says in 2018 alone, there's more than 35 unpaid wage claims totaling more than $30,000. That money can be linked to the Rodney Mesquias BRM Home Health Care Medicare Fraud Scheme. The Texas Workforce Commission continues to investigate as new unpaid wage claims continue to pour in. Our crews were there today when two people from a different home health care facility filled out their claim forms for unpaid wages today. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle reports. Mario Espinosa tells us he's waiting on his former employer, Face Home Health, to pay up. He's waited for six months. Like a whole month. A whole month of pay. Like a thousand, two hundred, thousand five hundred. No problem. Trying to get that money back is an endless cycle. No answer. We only called to a number and they told us uh, your processor is in hold. Uh, call back. That's it. We had him call that number while our cameras were rolling. The bankruptcy case is still open, ma'am. Like I said, we, she is in the process, like it takes a big old process for them to um, close off the case. As far as I know, it's still open right now. The company's filed for bankruptcy, which could be bad news for Espinosa. On top of that, wage claim forms also need to be filled out within 180 days. He's closer to 365. Wage claim forms, mm -hmm. two wage claim forms. Okay. They both have not been paid okay. for weeks. No problem, sir. Go ahead and enter your social please. We were there today as he filed wage claim forms with the Texas Workforce Solutions Office. TWC says everyone who believes they're owed unpaid wages should file a form no matter what. They have people here to help you. If they need a little help uh, navigating through the form or understanding the process, then they can ask to speak to one of our representatives and we'll sit with them and help them understand the form. All you need is information about your employer, the amount of money you're owed, and the specific dates you weren't paid for. Typically it's going to be the timeline because sometimes when someone uh, comes in to file a claim, time has already lapsed. So then going back in time and trying to figure out what their payroll period was. TWC says a wage claim can't be accepted if the employer files for bankruptcy. That's what Rodney Mesquias with BRM Home Health, who we told you about last week, tried to do. His bankruptcy claim was dismissed. TWC's Labor Law Department investigates every complaint. Even though it's state payday law that everybody's entitled to wages they earned, they tell me... Filling out this form isn't a guarantee you'll get your compensation. It's going to be under review, um, and it'll be dependent on the labor law department to determine if they are actually owed wages or not. Where am I check? Was I can get paid or not? Something he tells us seems unfair. Again, if you feel you are owed unpaid wages, you should fill out this form no matter what. It's available at any Workforce Solutions office, valley-wide or online. You have 180 days to fill it out with the Texas Workforce Commission. And after that, you may be redirected to the Department of Labor. Reporting in the studio, I'm Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 6. And after you fill out the form, there's a determination process that takes place during TWC's investigation. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. First, your claim is reviewed. Next, they'll mail a copy of your claim to your employer. Your employer has two weeks to respond. After that, they assign an investigator. Investigations can take 12 to 14 weeks to complete, and then they issue a determination. If your claim is denied, you can begin an appeals process.